right now, Bryn Morris is hard at work gathering fertilized breeding stock eggs on his family's quail operation near Ardrossan, Alberta. After starting out over 20 years ago with roughly 200 birds, they are now between 11 and 12,000. The business is called Brycon Developments, which combines the names of Bryn and his brother Con. Their parents, Arnie and Shirley, tried raising chickens before settling on quail, which is not very common on prairie farms. That's another reason we wanted to go to with the quail. Is the quail is like a miniature uh, chicken, basically, and uh, you don't need as much room. You don't need as much feed, or it's it's a lot more economical and easier to raise. The eggs from the layer birds are gathered by an automated system with a belt for each level of cages. This pulls the eggs all the way down, brings them up here, down through this incubator, which is like a little Ferris wheel thing. And it just drops them on the uh, tray here so the girls can load, the, load them in the packages. Here, Shirley and her daughter, Turin, are busy packaging quail eggs. Shirley says this is a lot easier than how they used to gather eggs by hand. Moving around all over the place with these, you know, you collect them, you have to sit down, you, you know, basically package them, then you got to move the boxes into a cold room. Everything's right here. It's automated and it's a lot more, more convenient, cleaner, better for the birds, and uh, this work. Demand for quail eggs has been strong as consumers are finding out about their healthy properties. Shirley says they know a number of people who have been successfully incorporating quail eggs into their diets to combat allergies and asthma. The egg yolk is actually bigger than the whites compared to chicken eggs, so you'll see a really big egg yolk. And the shell quality is actually a little bit harder than the chicken egg, and that's why you use a serrated knife to cut them open, because if you tried to crack it, it would just shatter, sort of. So it's best to take a serrated knife and just, you know, cut the top off like so, and then you dump it out, and you got, um, see the quality, you can see that this is a fresh egg, and you can see that the the white is actually kind of raised a little bit. Here, Con Morris and his brother Dylan are working on an order for quail eggs. At the time of our visit, the operation had moved 430 cases in the past month, which works out to almost 250,000 eggs. Their mom, Shirley, says in the beginning they just sold eggs by phoning a few restaurants, but obviously their market has grown a lot since then. Basically, all the superstores across Western Canada and, and several other, you know, larger chains that are carrying them now, so they're, they're accessible. These are the fertilized eggs you saw Bryn Morris gathering earlier. Bryn's dad, Arnie, told us that chicken operations usually don't do their own breeding, but their operation is different because quail is classified as a game bird. We have to do the whole... Uh, you can't buy this. This breeding stock that we have is a very rare breeding stock. It's Courtney's quail, and uh, you just can't find that anywhere. So we do the whole thing in the house. Everything's in house. We do it all from square one all the way to square ten. The fertilized quail eggs spend two weeks in the incubator before they're ready to hatch. The incubator holds 5,300 eggs and has automatic egg turners and humidity control. And after the two-week period, we put them in these uh, setting boxes, which are basically the same as the incubator, except they don't have the automatic turners and such. So right now, I just finished placing a, a, a hatch, and I'm just letting these ones hatch out right now. It's called the a few stragglers left, as you can see, and they'll be, I'll let them dry out, they'll be going into the, the big pen with the other ones by tomorrow. These chicks are two days old and were brought in from the settling boxes. They'll be kept in this floor pen for five weeks. Just getting used to their new surroundings, uh, after they're, they grow a little bit bigger, I, I can take all the, I put the auto waters down and they got outside feeders so they'll be well taken care of and it, there's approximately 1,500 chicks in there right now. From the floor pen, the quail go directly into the main layer cages. Looking after the birds is pretty much completely automated. The feed bin is located outside the barn. 
The feeding system connected to the bin is driven by a motor through a gear reduction box. Comes up through the feed auger, and then there's a hopper bin inside here that feeds each level uh, evenly. So we have a, a, a nice, uh, and I have it set for every two hours from 8 o'clock in the morning till midnight. And it drives each each level at the same time to uh, this gear. And, uh, and here's your chain uh, that moves the feet. Just pulls the feet all the way around. The manure handling system is also automated, carrying the manure away from the cages on a system of belts. They end up going to the back where there's an auger on the floor that they drop into the auger on the floor and it augers out to the uh, loader waiting outside to receive the manure. Culled quail are killed, frozen, and then sold to zoos and falconers where they provide a healthy food source for birds of prey. Arnie told us they have found the live quail to be quite hardy, so they don't use any antibiotics or medication. Their oldest son, Con, has started his own quail operation, so any future expansion will likely happen there.